a dreary Friday night. Uh, okay, you know, a lot of rain coming our way, so you know, just sit back. We got a good show for you today. Got a lot to talk about. Not a lot of time. And, uh, you know, okay, listen. I didn't want to bring this up. All right. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't want to have to talk about it, but hey, my wife won't let me, my wife won't talk to me unless I talk about it. This idea that Ash Ketchum is the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time is one of the most asinine things I've ever heard in my life. Greatest trainer of all time? How about you beat somebody half decent? The Elite Four is a joke. Lance is Dragonite level 70? Give me a break. Please, there's got to be somebody else out there that's better than him. Greatest trainer of all time. That's ridiculous. I mean, look at his rival, too. His, ri his, his rival, he hasn't trained in months. He's been sitting his six Pokemon waiting for Ash. What's he doing? You got to go out there and you got to train. I don't, I don't understand this nonsense. And well, what's, what's the deal with Ash Ketchum and his Pikachu? What's he waiting for? Is he wait? What, 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 what's it? Give him a thunderstorm already. You want to be the greatest trainer of all time? You got to make sacrifices. Okay, I, you know, I don't, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this nonsense with Ash Ketchum. You make it. You're beating all these gym leaders. You know how much those gym leaders pay out. This guy's making a fortune. He's buying all the max potions, max revives he needs. You're telling me it took skill? No! Do you know how much those Elite Four and those gym leaders pay out? Do you know how much? He could probably buy 50 max potions if he had to. He could go up against that, that Dragonite with Pikachu! Just un unbelievable. Un 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 unreal, unreal. You know, uh, hey Ash, you know, show us a little skill, huh? You know, to, to grow up. Get Pikachu a Thunderstone, all right? Okay, if you at least play a right, I'll give you some respect. But uh, we'll get we'll get the calls. You know the number, eight seven seven three three seven sixty six sixty six. We're gonna take some calls now. All right, we got uh, Charlie from Bayside. Charlie, I'm a fan. All right, now, Mike. Uh, now, I'm not an I'm not an amateur. I've been playing Pokemon my whole life, born and raised in Pallet Town. Um, but uh, Snorlax, I can't get him to move. Now, look, I'm I'm not an amateur. I don't want you to start making fun of me, Mike. I can't move the guy. Well, you know, listen, hey, it's not easy. It's not easy. When you're dealing with a Pokemon that big, and hey, listen, Snorlax, that is a, I mean, not, that is a big Pokemon, okay? So, I mean, that guy, I mean, please, listen, hey, you know, give him a cup of coffee or something, all right? The guy, the guy won't move an inch, he just snores all the time, and, uh, you know, hey, well, listen, you know, not, not knocking the guy, but, uh, listen, if you want to move your Snorlax, you know, just be, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with him, you gotta, you know, you gotta do some more battles, you just... You gotta train him a little bit more, okay? You gotta get him to a certain point where, uh, you know, we'll start respecting you. Maybe get a gym badge or two, okay? Uh, Mike, I gotta, I gotta call for you. All right, uh, we got, uh, this is Nico from Flushing. Nico, you're on the fan. Mike, I, I think you're wrong. I think you need a pokey flute to move the guy. You don't need no gym badge. Pokey flute? What are you talking to me about a pokey flute for? What? How? What? Mike, it's a Can I ask you? Oh, hey, wait. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. How old are you? Mike, Mike, don't. Mike, don't. Uh, wait. No, I, I asked you a simple question. How old are you? Mike, I'm 17. 17. Please. Okay. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been doing this longer than you've been alive. Don't come to me with a pokey flute question. Next <laughs> old. Um, Mike, would I use honey to move the Snorlax? Oh, God, on, listen. All right, I, you know, I didn't sign up for amateur hour, okay? I need, you know, I mean, these people, this guy, guy waited an hour, he guy waited an hour and a half to tell me that. <laughs> an hour and a half. Mike. All right, we got, uh, now, we got Chuck from, uh, Fresh Meadows. Chuck, you're on the fan. Now, uh, Mike, I heard, uh, from... A website on the internet 
that uh, you you personally you use Diet Coke to move a Snorlax. Oh, well, okay. So uh, we got a bunch of uh, jokesters on. You know, we're talking about a serious topic here, and uh, people just like to play games. Listen, you know, there's a lot of things on the internet. Okay. All right, there's a lot of things that people can write on the internet. People can post whatever they want up there. You're gonna believe everything. Uh, you're gonna believe everything you see. Okay. Listen, don't worry about me. Okay. I'll be okay. Worry about your Pokemon. Uh, okay. We got uh, Andy Ball. Andy, you're on a fan. Uh, how do you catch a missing though? How do you catch a missing though? You know. Now, uh, listen. Hey. You know, a lot of people don't know this kind of thing. I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but. Uh, I heard, okay, from a very famous Pokemon trainer. I have the affidavits. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Though. I've read affidavits that you can go to Cinnabar Island, okay, and there's, there's something you can do. I'm not going to tell you what it is because, hey, this is big stuff. But you go to Cinnabar Island, and that's all I'm going to tell you because <laughs> I'm not allowed, I'm not, hey, listen, okay, I'm not allowed to tell you exactly how to do it, but. Go to Cinnabar Island. Yeah, Mike, I got a question. Alright. So I was uh, training with my Pokemon in the woods. I looked up and I could have swore I saw a hole in the sky. Do you think that's real? A hole in the sky? What do you, what, what, what were you, what, you saw a hole in the sky? What are you talking about? <laughs> I saw a hole. Wait a second. Wait a second. What kind of hole? What are you talking about? Mike, the mystic bird. You never heard the stories? The mystic I swear bird. I saw him in the sky. The mystic bird. Listen, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I know, I know. Training your Pokemon is hard, but you don't have to start making up stories, okay? <laughs> Listen, we all have, we all have great imaginations, all right. And uh, you know, you need ima you need some imagination, but uh, you know, I would, I, 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 would, I would lay, I would really, I would really take a break from uh, your training, okay? Mike, I have a question. Okay. What's your favorite type of Pokemon? Uh, what do you not your favorite? What do you think is the best suited for battle? Uh, favorite type of Pokemon, huh? This is always one of my favorites. Ah, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of good time. Listen, there's a lot of good types out there, okay? But uh, oh, if I had to say, well, hey, let's put it this way: if you have a Dragon type Pokemon, you're in pretty good shape. Because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of Pokemon that can be the Dragon type Pokemon, okay? I mean, you know, it's a good, it's a great question. That's a really great question. Mike, I have a follow up question. All right, what do you got? All right, who do you think's a better Pokemon trainer, Johnny Manziel or Eli Manning? Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna stop you right there. And you know, I, listen, as soon as that guy got out, I knew he was trouble. I should have known that guy was troublish. I let him go. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. Okay, next caller. Hey, Mike, I'm totally lost out here. All right, what do you got? I, I can't get a map. Uh, my rival, you know, he said he told his sister not to give me one, and I said he'd smell me later. I'm not a lost. Can't find my way. Well, well, first of all, okay, the key to doing anything in life is to get a map. <laughs> if you can't, if you can't, you know, listen, look, hey, look on with a buddy or something. You gotta be able to listen. You gotta have a map to get around, okay? And as far as your, uh, as far as your comments to your friend, you know, maybe that wasn't the best thing to say, okay? You'll probably never get your map now. Mike, I'm trying to fight a ghastly, but a uh, cut isn't working. What? Say that again, please, because I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not sure the audience heard what you just said. I'm trying to fight a ghastly in the tower in uh, one of the towns, and uh, I try to use the move cut, but it says the attack failed every time. All right, you're out of here. Okay, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Okay, listen. You know, we 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 started off this show on the wrong foot. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to work with these. You know, I'm trying to work with you. Okay. You know, I mean, some people are just silly. Some people are fools. I, I, some people are fools. Hey, uh, what do you think of the ghosts in Lavender Town? The ghosts in Lavender Town? Well, listen, that, you know, that's, that's... That's a scary place over there, okay? You know, I try... You know, I tell my wife and kids, uh... You know, try and stay away from that area. Because, you know, let's say, hey, listen, it's not safe at night. Especially with all those ghosts. 
You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that kind of thing. Okay, it's just hey, listen, you go, hey, listen, if you want to go to Lavender Town and play around with ghosts, be my guest. That's just, uh, that's just not my thing. Uh, Mike, I got a question. All right. What's going on with this Team Rocket? Should we worry? What are they doing? Listen, okay, you don't have, listen, nobody has to worry about Team Rocket. They are Team Rocket. They are the biggest joke of Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> You know, try it. Try getting the. You know, try. Uh, try. How about you stop whipping your Pokemon? Okay, that might be a good first step. First of all, they're broke. Okay. Second, their team slogan is probably the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my life. Team Pow, Team Rocket, blasting off at the speed of light. I mean, please, why did they they get the three year olds to write those lines for them? I mean, I you know I don't I don't I don't get that whole situation there. Okay, if you listen. If you got, if you don't have anything going, just just give it up, okay? Just give it up. Hey, Mike, I got a call for you. All right, we got uh, Ian from Flushing. Ian, you're on the fan. Yeah, Mike, uh, you're the worst. You remind me of, of a mixed-up Jigglypuff. You're oh, really? white and pink, and when other people talk to you, you fall asleep. Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're bringing back, okay, listen, we're bringing back something that happened uh, two years ago again. Uh, uh, listen, that speaks to you, not me. I don't know why you're wasting my time comparing me to a uh, Jigglypuff, okay? Have you seen a Jigglypuff? All right, I mean, yeah, it can sing, but please, listen, if you got nothing better to do with your time, don't call me about Jigglypuffs, okay? I've been doing this show for 25 years, all right? I don't need I don't need anybody telling me that I look like a uh, Jigglypuff. I got more important fish to fry, okay? Hey, uh, my Pokemon's evolving, but I don't want it to. What should I do? Uh, Monzo, pull up the stats of how many times that's a good idea to get your Pokemon to stop evolving. I'll give you an answer, Andy. None, never. <laughs> if you don't, if you, if you listen, hey. You're not ready for Pokemon if you don't want them to evolve, okay? That's all I got to say. You're not ready. How about, how about you, I, I got a good idea for you. Go to your nearest Poke Center, okay? Turn on your PC, all right? You're going to want to access Bill's PC. You're going to deposit all your Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to go to something that says release. And you're going to let every single one of those Pokemon go. Because you don't deserve them. <laughs> uh, hey, Mike, I got a question. Okay, we got uh, George calling from Bayside. George, you're on the fan. Um, there are rumors of a red Gyarados going around. I mean, that guy talking about Pokemon not evolving. Do you believe this guy? <laughs> I, I, I can't. I. Go ahead. Go ahead, George. Go ahead, George. Go ahead. <laughs> There are rumors of a red Gyarados going around. What do you have to say about them? Uh, blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really think it matters much, George. I think you're wasting your time, and you're wasting our time. Next caller. Have you ever seen a shiny Pokemon? A shiny Pokemon? What, what, do, you, what do you mean by a shiny Pokemon? What are you talking about? A uh, Pokemon that is discolored, so... A Pokemon that are you trying to say a Pokemon that shines? Well, no. Uh, there's a one in fifty thousand chance of a Pokemon being a shiny. All right. Well, listen. Okay. All Pokemon uh, created equal. All right. We're not. We're not gonna. You know. We're not. We're not here. That, listen. This isn't a show. This isn't a show to discriminate. Okay. You know. There's a lot of things wrong in the world. That you know. We don't have to pick on poor innocent Pokemon. Okay. Let's 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 leave those guys out of this. Hey Mike, since you're such a weather expert, how much is gonna rain tonight? Oh, we got another classic call here. Another jokester. Okay, listen, if you wanna know what the weather is, how about you watch how uh, about you watch Lee Goldberg? I heard he does a great job. Okay? You know that, listen, alright? Don't don't bother me with that, okay? It's if it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. And you people just, you, you, you're always hoping for uh, some kind of hurricane or something because you just don't want to go to work the next day. Mike, I have a question. All right, Joel, what do we got? I've been sitting here staring at my, uh, my Game Boy for about four hours. 
Um, I don't know which starter Pokemon I want. You know, I'm trying to decide between Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtaquail. And oh no! You know, I'm I sorry, let him talk. And, and I let Squ him go. I let him go. I, you're, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> I let him go because you know sometimes I I, I get it. You, you have a hard time choosing a Pokemon. It's an important decision. Hey, listen, Professor Oak only gives you one chance. But you, you, you went ahead and ruined it, so that's your loss, not mine. Hey, uh, I accidentally used my Master Ball on a Caterpie. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> listen, that, now that I hope that I hope that that's not a serious call because if you wasted your Master Ball on a Caterpie, I don't know what you're doing with a Master Ball. Hey, wait a second, you know how did you get how did you get that Master Ball? How did you get that? Professor Oak, oh really? Professor Oak gave you a master book. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll believe that. I'll, I'll believe that. Yeah, sure, I, I'll, I'll believe that. Okay, and that's that's a good one. I, that, you're making me laugh. <laughs> you're making me laugh. I, <laughs> Professor, Oak, can you believe this guy? He said Professor Oak gave him a master book and he used it on a canopy. Oh, jeez. Some of these calls, I, I mean, it's funny. It's funny. Hey, Mike, uh, I got a question. All right, Tim Hopper from Queens. Tim, you're on the fan. All right, so I was having an argument with a buddy. Uh, I said the best HM is Surf, but he said it was uh, Flash. Uh, you think you can clear this up? Well, let me tell you something, okay? Flash, listen, if you're going to take Flash for granted, you're not going to make it very far, okay? You're gonna be walking around these dark caves. You know, you're gonna get you're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. You're not you're not gonna know where he's coming from. You're not gonna know what to do. Okay, Surf. All right, it's a it's a nice water attack. You need to use it too. But listen, hey, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, if if you're really asking which one is better, it's probably Surf. But let me tell you something. You're gonna need Flash. All right, you're gonna need Flash to get through. That's that's just how it is. Okay. They're in my cave, and I keep getting attacked by Zubats. What should I do? Uh, get out of the cave would be the first step. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're not looking for Zubats, uh, you probably shouldn't be in a cave. That's, I mean, that's pretty much how it is. No, maybe you want to catch one of them, and you'll have your Zubat on your own. How about that? Mike. <clears throat> All right. I just uh, fought the dojo. I beat every Pokemon he had. And uh, now he's giving me a choice whether I have Hitmon Chan or Hitmon Lee. Uh, who would you say is better? Wow, man, that's listen. That's a that's a that's a good question. Okay, I I got to I got to give you that one. Oh, listen. All right, it's really uh you know it's all about perspective. If if you want a uh, if you want a punching Pokemon, you know you go with Hitmon Chan. If you want a kicking Pokemon, you go with Hitmon Lee. Listen, I'm not here to make decisions for you. I mean, I can give you advice, but that's uh, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty good question. That's a that's a pretty evenly uh, that's a pretty evenly matched uh, thing you got for me there. Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, both pretty good. Mike, I have another question. All right. Uh, I need to pick three. I have four, and I can only start three for my fantasy team. Here are my four. Pick pick three for me, Mike. I got Brock, Misty, Ash, and Gary. Pick three. Uh, Brock, Misty, what were the last two? Ash and Gary. Ash and Gary. Well, you know, you know, you got Ash is overrated, but you gotta go with him, okay? That's the first one. I'd probably pick him first. Uh, your next pick, I'd probably go with uh, Gary, and uh, your next pick, really, I mean, Brock is, uh, you know, he's not exactly a diamond in the rough, okay? <laughs> He's got a bunch of rock Pokemon. He's got a couple of Geo dudes, uh, and Misty. Uh, hey, listen, uh, nobody ever, uh, nobody ever ran in fear over a Stormy, but I mean, it's really up to you. Okay, I, I'd probably pick Misty. I'd probably pick Misty. Who would win, Blasto, Blasto, the Charizard, or Misty? Well, how about you ask me a one-on-one -on -one Pokemon battle? Because you can't have.